Hello and welcome everyone to the Commodity Report for the 18th of May 2022, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Clubs. As we head into a new week here, yet again we've seen gasoline prices break out to all-time highs. Over the last week we've seen energy prices, crude oil, Brent crude oil, they have broken out towards one month highs. In fact, we took the opportunity at the end of last week to lock in 1,600 points on one of our crude oil positions. So just for that calculation, for every one lot contract that you'll be trading, that's $16,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'll be trading, that's $160,000 of profit. Also, we have taken the opportunity to lock in some profits here on copper at the beginning of the week. We've seen a three day impulse move to the upside here. And we've now, of course, had updates at the start of this week here regarding the China lockdowns easing as we move into the month of June. So this is already creating that risk on environment where we are seeing a recovery here for many industrial metals. Platinum and also copper have had strong moves over the last 48 hours. Hours. There really are back-to-back -back opportunities to capitalize on this current market volatility. So, of course, last week we had the US dollar index that broke out to 20-year highs, broke out to the 105 level. Subsequently, since Friday, we have seen three days of consecutive downside on the dollar index and a slingshot move higher for gold, breaking out for 1,785 US dollars back towards 1,830. We've also seen silver prices have over a 3% move to the upside, breaking back above 21 US dollars per ounce. So where does that leave us right now with respect to capitalizing on the current commodity super cycle? Well, as you know, we're very heavily positioned on energies on the long side at the moment. Sri Lanka, they are running out of petrol and only have one more day left of petrol. We have diesel prices breaking out to all time highs. Gasoline prices, as you know, breaking out to all time highs. This week so far, we've got natural gas prices break out 8% in the USA. UK natural gas prices, they're broken out 10%. And so far this year, natural gas prices, they have tripled over 2022. So we're very focused on the energy opportunities right now. And of course, industrial metals, which we are anticipating to continue this recovery as we see China ease their lockdowns once we move into the month of June. So definitely want to capitalize on that. With regard to the precious metals such as gold and silver, it is very much a trader's market at the moment. We saw this at the beginning of the week. Gold prices, they capitulated and broke out over 450 points to the upside from 1785 back to 1830, just within the matter of 24 hours. So if you're getting in and out, snipering in nice and low, coming out, regularly banking profits, banking into strength, it enables you to capitalize on this current environment, which is a trader's paradise to trade this current market volatility. That is exactly what you want to be doing. With respect to this week so far, in the middle of the week here, we are seeing gold start to roll over against a number of different currencies, against the euro, against the pound, against the Australian dollar. So I would keep a bit of a close eye on that because the US dollar has been vulnerable at the start of the week. It's broken down, yet gold has still not been able to follow through above the 1830 level, roll back over, back down towards the 1815 zone. So again, I would see areas of liquidity right now for gold at 1790 or lower at the moment. You've already seen that at the beginning of the week, getting a bid from those levels. And of course, at the moment, we have overhead resistance residing around 1,835 US dollars per ounce. That's the level where we saw failure on Tuesday. Gold was unable to break above that zone. However, just expect more range bound price action. Make sure that you're capitalizing on the ranges right now. Be mindful as well, going to next week, we're going to start moving towards the end of the month so you could see further outflows, profit taking, and then this sets up perfectly as you move into the month of June, which is typically a very strong month for commodities. And you absolutely do not want to miss out on the current commodity super cycle. If you're not making money at the moment in these markets, either you're an inexperienced trader or you're just using technical analysis, which as you know, does not work. If you're just using technical analysis, you'll end up getting chopped up all the time in these markets. It will be death by a thousand cuts and ultimately you'll get crushed. And we do not want that for you. We want to make sure that you are capitalizing on the commodity super cycle and that you are making money. So with that, if you would like to learn the research driven approach to the market, utilize a professional approach. This is where you're going to be utilizing statistics, data, market intelligence, then learning and understanding the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity. Alongside that, key areas of liquidity, the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, 
And of course, alongside that, the fundamentals, the macroeconomics, the geopolitics, and further compound that with how the hedge funds, money managers, banks, and institutions are positioned in the market. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research-driven approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.